welcome back to the garden. Sorry I haven't really had much time to sit and chat during the summer. It was ever so busy as you can imagine. The heat in the polytunnel proved a real problem at first as many of the plants decided they would go to seed early and bolted for the sky. I did manage to get some stuff in more suited to the tropical conditions in the tunnel and even with the doors wide open it rarely dipped below 40 degrees on the thermometer. The watermelons thrived and those juicy footballs of flavour were a real highlight. I still have a couple ripening away and the anticipation of further fruity experiences is wonderful. The cucumbers went ballistic and we turned to pickling and relish making. The same with the courgettes which quickly turned to marrows as they inflated into small zeppelins almost overnight. The chilli peppers also loved the heat and some are still turning a fiery red. Outside in the main garden, the beds I filled with compost did sustain a good show of sunflowers. These were the same plants that the kids planted on the open day during the Easter egg hunt. Never one to throw a plant away, I had a couple inside the polytunnel as well. And though the flowers were cheery, they grew so big it was a bit of a jungle, and I probably won't do that again in a hurry. You live and learn. The adopter pots sat on the fence were a great source of colour but took a lot of hand watering after the hose pipe ban came in. Luckily we have a large storage tank for water that is collected off the community centre roof, but even then that got very low with so little rain during the summer. We have a TV crew coming down next week to film the garden as part of their Grow, Cook, Eat series. I'm hoping we have enough to show them as we did only start in January and getting help on board has been slow. A local builder, Dermot from Goline Development, turned up with two tonnes of topsoil and that's really put the show on the road and we now have soil to plant in rather than the two inches of clay and stone we were trying to deal with. There are major plans over the next few days leading up to the filming. The fence is halfway there and tomorrow the recycled plastic wood for the raised beds is due to arrive. An order of gravel for the main path is also due and all three jobs will take some time and manpower and a bit of building expertise. That's something I've not shown any affinity for, but Richie from West Cork Engineering has agreed to give us a hand. I've been using the imminent arrival of the national media to publicise our garden. The overall objective is to promote all things environmental, ecological, educational and edible and the educational side of things will only work if people get to hear about it. To that end, I talked with Hilary from nearby village. She's one of those responsible for getting this Skull Film Festival up and running. And over the last few years, that has turned from a slightly eccentric idea into an amazing international event. She had some great ideas and suggested that the media and promotion side of things is really fundamental to getting people involved. So we have the Facebook page where I'm regularly posting news and photos and I have a personal blog called Sodit where I've also been putting stories and ideas behind the development of the garden. There's an Instagram account of the same name. This site is not exclusively about the garden but there is a series of photographic updates. I hope we'll do more specific publicity and promotion on the garden but for now that is all I have time for. So while talking to Hillary, I realised I hadn't done the radio show for a while and now here I am back in the shed and I hope to keep the plants growing and the news flowing a bit more regularly. I have received so much help and interest recently and I really should acknowledge all those that are helping and I'll do that gradually over the next few weeks. But firstly I'd like to thank the Golian community in general, the office of support and even the kindly words of encouragement I have had from so many people really motivates me to do more in our garden. And the flood of ideas from all quarters has my head spinning. Even I didn't realise just what a community garden could inspire in people. It is a weighty responsibility to try and bring as many of those ideas as I can to fruition, but I always love a good challenge. The weather is turning, and if last year is anything to go by, the wind will be mighty. I do hope you get the chance to visit us soon on social media or through the garden gate itself. Remember, it's always open. <laughs> <laughs>